In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and set up IPVanish VPN for your Mac. The first thing you need to do is to open your web browser and you want to go to the IPVanish website. Now I'll leave a link in the description of this video where you can get an exclusive discount. Once you're here, you want to click on the get started button in the top right hand corner. You then need to choose a plan that works best for you. As you can see, the monthly plan is $12.99. However, the best value plan is 24 months at $2.19. Once you're ready, you want to scroll down and you want to choose a payment method. And once you've entered in your details, you want to click on subscribe now. And this will create your IPVanish account. Once you've subscribed to IPVanish, you need to activate your account as it's currently inactive until we've created a password. You will then need to find the email that IPVanish has just sent you and it should look something like this. Once you've found it, you want to click on the green create password button. From here, you would then need to enter in your new password for your new account. In this case, I'm going to use my NordPass password manager to automatically generate my new password and to save the details. Once you've done this, you will then be prompted to sign into your account, so you want to click on sign in. And from here, you just need to go ahead and sign into the account that you've just created. Once you've signed in, you'll be taken to the back end of your account, which will look like this. All we need to do now is to go ahead and download the app to our Mac. To do this, you want to find where it says get our app, and you want to select the platform you want to download the application for. In this case, we want to select Mac OS. This will take you to the Mac OS download page, and all we need to do now is click on download app. From here, it's going to prompt us to download the installer. In this case, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Once we've downloaded the IPVanish installer, you want to go ahead and open it up. And then you want to drag and drop the IPVanish logo into the applications folder. And after a few seconds, this will successfully install. Once the application has been installed, you can exit out of the installer itself and you can delete it from your computer if you'd like to do so. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and open up IPVanish. Because it's our first time, you'll get this prompt, so you want to click on open. And once the IPVanish application is opened, you'll be greeted with the login screen. So you just want to go ahead and log in with the information that we used to create our account earlier. Once we've logged in, because it's our first time, IPVanish will need to set up a VPN configuration on our Mac, so you want to click on allow. You'll also be prompted to take the tutorial. So if you want to do that, you can click on begin tutorial, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to click on skip. Now we've finished setting up IPVanish, we can go ahead and connect to a server. And there are two main ways of doing this. The first method is to go to the home screen, which we are currently on, and you can use this map on the right hand side to browse all of the available servers from around the world. Alternatively, you can click on the locations tab on the left hand side menu, and you can scroll through the list of available countries. Now in this case, I'm going to scroll all the way down and I'm going to connect to a United States Dallas server, which is this one. Once you've clicked on it, it's going to automatically connect to that server and it may take a few seconds. And once we are done, it will say connected here at the top. Now, if we go back to the home screen, you get a log of the VPN connection and our public IP address will successfully change. Now we are connected to the VPN server. If we go back to our web browser and we go to whatsmyip.com, as you can see, it's currently saying that I'm in the United Kingdom, which I am. However, because we are connected to the server, if I refresh this page, it will update and it will now say that I'm currently in the United States in Texas, Dallas, as you can see. And this is great for doing many things on the internet, like unblocking censored websites or simply changing your location on streaming services. If we want to disconnect from the VPN server, just simply click on the big disconnect button in the top right hand corner and after a few seconds you'll be disconnected and you'll be taken to your normal IP address. So remember to click on the link in the description of this video if you want to get yourself an exclusive discount to IPVanish VPN. So if this video is helpful please leave a like and if you have any questions or comments you can leave them below.